The Fighting Scots baseball team took on Aurora University in a doubleheader on Saturday. In game two, the Scots were not able to capitalize on solid pitching performances from freshman Nick Hull and sophomore Brent Burroughs. Following a Nick Humphrey single, Alex Kemmer walked, giving the Scots runners on first and second with no outs. However, the next three batters were retired in order, and this would be the biggest threat from the Scots. The Spartans took both games with scores of 7-3 and 2-0. We just couldn't generate anything. It was just very anemic with the bats. But we fielded the ball well, and we got good pitching. But it, baseball's three components. The Scots men's baseball team hoped to rebound on Sunday with a doubleheader against the Milwaukee School of Engineering. By the bottom of the fifth inning, the Scots were already down 3-0. to zero. Shortstop Andrew Bardino was able to reach first base with a walk, but was put out trying to steal second. Moments later, outfielder Mitch Comstock was able to bring in the Scots' first run of the game by bringing in catcher Jordan Gaither. Milwaukee 3, Scots 1. Now in the seventh inning, the Scots were bringing the pressure to Milwaukee. With the bases loaded, third baseman Caleb Rule reached on a walk. Milwaukee 3, Scots 2. After Milwaukee scored an insurance run in the top of the eighth inning, Scots outfielder Mitch Johnson was able to reach on a double. Then shortstop Andrew Bardino took first on an air. Gaither drove Johnson home, but that was it, as the Scots come up short in game one, losing 4-3. to three. The Scots split the doubleheader, winning the second game 9-2. to two. The Scots play tonight in Rock Island against Augustana College. The Fighting Scots softball team also opened up their first home games of the season against the Cornell Rams. In the first game, the Fighting Scots had freshman Skylar Johnson on the mound, with two strikeouts and four innings. The Cornell Rams wouldn't back down, though, as Brittany Yost singled into center field. The Scots would pull it out and win the first game with a score of 3-2. In second game action, Alyssa Edler pitched a complete game in her first home start of her career. She got in some trouble early as pinch hitter Caleb Bysinger hit a single and would later on score. Edler would get some help from her offense as Brittany Forney hits a double off the fence. This would be followed by a Lauren Bergtresser home run. The Scots would win this game 4-2. I think we got our hits at the times we needed to, and we really performed the way we needed to today. Hopefully we get better throughout the season. The Scots will play their first home game against North Central on Saturday, March 31st. 